Hey guys, so just a quick recap on some of the new functionality that we've done in the new Adder V2 update. So the Adders are, are relatively new. They've only been around for three or four months. They've been received amazingly. Everybody knows, loves the new LRF integration in the, in the Adder series. Um, but we've already begun to work on some of the changes you guys have asked for. So the biggest one is it's getting an, an image algorithm update. So we're calling this the Image Boost 3.0. It's not something that's available in the menu. It's just activated at all times. Where you'll really see this shine with the old firmware is at your high higher edges of the magnification range. It provides a little less noise in the image and it's a little more stable. So you kind of get that same, at least stability of the clarity throughout. You're still gonna get some of that pixelation as you zoom, which you do with all digital zoom, but it's gonna be a much more stable, in stable image at the higher range of that magnification. Um, a couple other things is we've also got some more options in your BDC aiming point style. So you'll have a couple different options there. We've also moved the LRF readout closer to the center of your actual aiming point. That way, when you are using your ballistic calculation, you don't have to divert your eyes all the way up into the top right-hand corner of the screen. It's closer to the center of your crosshair, so it just makes it easier flow as you're trying to get on target. Um, previously, when you were working your ballistic calculation, with your one-touch auto, it gives you your BDC based off the last range. The range would disappear off the screen in about three seconds. We had some guys who were like, hey man, I'd like if that would stay on the screen a little bit longer. So that will now be on screen for 10 full seconds. So that'll just give you more time. You hit your range, you get your BDC drop. You'll have a little more time to get that BDC to your target that you're looking at um, before that distance goes off. The BDC will stay in its spot even if you go over that 10 seconds. It's only off the last range distance, but being there just kind of gives you a little more uh, familiarity with what that distance was. Um, and then we've also got reticle number six is we had guys asking for a little bit finer reticles, which hunters lack a lot. Um, reticle number six has been made a little bit finer. So we'll see how you guys respond to that um, for you hunters that wanted a little finer reticle. And then number 10, we've made that dot a little bit lower and a little more, more compact in a way. So it's not quite as big at longer ranges for, for guys that are wanting to shoot uh, usually hogs in quick succession if you're, you know, if you're on a big group. So um, these are all changes. We know the Adder V2s have only been around for about three to four months but this is some of the earliest feedback we've gotten. Um, and, and one last one before I forget is we've also got an angle corrected distance that will show up just below your true distance will be your angle corrected distance. So if you're at an extreme angle up or down, um, it'll give you a true corrected distance and your BDC will override that if it's different than your true distance. So um, we appreciate the feedback that you guys have given us and, and we're always working to make them better and, and what you guys are looking for. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And if you see any other optics or you've got another device and another product family and there's some other functionality that you'd like there, feel free to let us know in the comments and uh, that's what we're looking for at all times. So thanks guys.